Hi there, this is my October wrap up and November TBR video. So in October I read quite a few things but everything was on audiobooks. I didn't really do this on purpose, it's more because earlier in the year I was really focused on finishing the first draft of my novel and I didn't read that many books and I kept having a credit on Audible every month and I kept buying interesting looking books but I didn't have time to listen to them. So this month I kind of caught up with a lot of things that I'd been wanting to read for a while and I ended up with quite a good month of reading, all things considered. First, I read Nothing to Envy by Barbara Demick, which is a kind of narrative non-fiction book about ordinary lives of people in North Korea. So a friend of mine on Twitter recommended this book after we were discussing cults and dystopias and cult like governments and things like that. And um, it was a really interesting read. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was enjoyable because life as described in this book, life in North Korea, seems so harsh and difficult and there was a huge period of famine in North Korea that killed a large number of people, so obviously it's not something that is fun or pleasant to listen to, but it was really enlightening and interesting. So all in all, I'm really happy that I listened to this book, even though it did make me cry a couple of times. Next, I picked up My Life as a White Trash Zombie by Diana Rowland. I really, really enjoyed this book and I already did a review of it, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much. But it's a really cool, nifty, fairly original uh, take on the zombie genre where the book is in the point of view of Angel, who becomes a zombie and kind of has to explore this life and solve mysteries. So then after that I picked up the second book in the series, Even White Trash Zombies Get the Blues, also by Diana Rowland of course, and again I really enjoyed it. That book delves a little bit more in the secret zombie underworld and kind of the backstory of a bunch of characters from book one, so it was really cool to read and I have now picked up book three on Kindle and I am reading it now, so it kind of got shifted to the November TBR because I had a few things I wanted to get to, but I'm still really enjoying this series. Next I read Lock In by John Scalzi. I'm not going to talk about this one too much either because I want to review it for this channel, but I really enjoyed this book. It's about a future in which a large proportion of the population have gotten an illness that's left them locked inside of their own body whilst still having awareness and being able to think and feel. And so these people get to use really cool robots to move around and participate in society and have jobs and do all the kind of normal things that we do every day. Then I picked up The Martian by Andy Weir because I'd heard so many good things about it. The Martian is the story of Mark Watney who is an astronaut in the third manned mission to Mars. However, there is a sandstorm and a freak accident and his crew think that he has died and they leave Mars, they abort the mission and get out of there and Mark wakes up and he's not dead and he's still on Mars and no one else is on Mars with him and he is stuck and there's absolutely no way that he can survive until the next manned mission to Mars because that is in four years time and he has about enough food for a hundred days. So it's this really cool intriguing story about how this guy is going to stay alive, how he's going to use the scientific knowledge that he has in order to solve all of his problems one by one. So I don't want to tell you any more because that could get fairly spoilery, but it is a really interesting read. Mark Watney is a problem solver at heart, he is also a very good natured uh, Person. He's someone who makes jokes when he's uncomfortable, that kind of guy. I thought it might be a bit depressing because it's a guy alone on Mars, but it's not at all like that. Um, I thought there were a few issues, I thought the ending was a bit abrupt, but overall it's really, really quite entertaining. And then finally I read a physical book, yay me! This is Luck and Key. I did a review of it for Halloween. It's a horror comic, it's about a family trying to cope with the dad being murdered and how the past comes back to haunt them. It's a really cool, creepy story and I definitely want to keep reading it. 
So these were the books that I read in October and I really enjoyed this little selection. It was quite a nice mix, non-fiction, fiction, horror, a lot of sci-fi, some fun zombie hijinks. I had a pretty good reading month and next month I anticipate that this will not be the case because as you probably know by now I am doing NaNoWriMo <laughs> this November and that normally doesn't leave me a lot of time for reading. However, there are a few things that I definitely want to read this November. So first I have picked up volumes two and three of Lock and Key, so I will definitely be reading those very shortly. The second thing I want to read is White Trash Zombie Apocalypse, which is book three in Diana Rowland's White Trash Zombie series. And in this book, Angel has to contend with a zombie movie that is being filmed in town. Real life zombies trying to hide that they're eating brains on the sly whilst at the same time, there's a bunch of people in zombie makeup walking around town who are not actually zombies. It's a really cool concept. I absolutely can't wait. So I really, really want to get to Maplecroft by Sherry Priest. I am a big fan of Sherry Priest's writing and this is her latest book. It's about uh, Lizzie Borden fighting Cthulhu with an axe. Um, and that... That sounds really cool in and of itself. I was trying really hard to get to this in time for Halloween and to have it as my Halloween review, but I didn't get to it fast enough, so it's going to have to be for November, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Next, I really, really want to read Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I've read Westerfeld's Leviathan theories and I really love those books, so I'm confident that I'm going to enjoy his writing, but more than that, it's a book about someone doing NaNoWriMo, so I really want to get to this one in November because it would be quite topical. And finally, on my TBR list for November, I have a Hero at the End of the World by my friend Erin Claiborne. I'm really jazzed about this book. It's a story of a boy who was fated to defeat the Dark Lord with his powerful, powerful magic. But then when the time came, he kind of chickened out and his best friend defeated the Dark Lord instead of him. And now it's five years later and he's working in a coffee shop and his life sucks and someone comes to see him and offers him to take part in a dastardly plan to bring down his old best friend who got all the glory from defeating this Dark Lord instead of him. So it's a story about friendship and magic and what it means to be the one to defeat the bad guy. I've already started reading it and it is really, really funny. I didn't put it in my October wrap up because I'm not very far into it, but this is definitely the next thing that I'm going to read. I think I've said that about four times in this video. I have no clue what order I'm going to read things in. These are just a few things that I'm hoping I will get to in November because they sound amazing. This was my October wrap up and November TBR video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you're reading at the moment. And if you're doing NaNoWriMo, let me know if you've got any strategies for getting some actual reading done in November because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.